I'm Kay and Cows. Welcome to this channel, Stay in the Crane. Today I'm going to talk about something that's pretty close to my heart when it comes to this whole self ID agenda narrative that's being pushed through really quickly, and that is the dressing rooms, locking rooms, bathrooms, changing area for both men and women. With both my reenacting as well as my performing as a, as a belly dancer, um, I definitely know what it's like to have to use these facilities, but not just for, um, you know, one off occasions, but multiple occasions in a night, you know, so backstage performances, things like that. I'm going to throw some photos in today and just a little bit of a slideshow of um, stuff that I've done. Well, yeah, a bit of a slideshow on, you know. Anyway, so I was reflecting on this and thinking, what would I, you know, like, they're called hufflers, they're like a, we have like a dance party thing that, so we, in my past I've danced in troops, I've danced solos, I've danced nursing homes, I've danced festivals, each one of these things has its own dressing room issues that we all have to sort of conquer. When we're doing sort of something like a huffler and th these aren't e big productions but they're normally put on by say each dance school for example you know so we it would be probably like we used to have a Christmas time break up parties and everyone would get together from a whole different belly dance groups, troops, tribes would get together and do a few different dances, each troop. I just can't imagine, because these hufflers especially, you know, that, that's what comes to my mind, but these hufflers, they have little girls dancing all the way up to my grandmother dancing you know like and they can be quite a big event like, like they can go for a few hours you know and, and I just can't imagine having a male body person in a belly dancing dressing room Now, belly dancing traditionally is was women's dance for for women. It didn't get popularized and over sexualized until it was around the 1930s, it was one of the World's Fair where they actually had it as See the Bellies Dance. And that was the first time they had introduced this type of art to the Western world. Otherwise it was mainly, you know, sort of Middle Eastern, Turkish, um, Greeks as well. But then, you know, of course, when you go into, you know, got Hollywood and different sort of um, similar moves, Gypsy as well. Gypsy is the really, really powerful, really, really, you got some really solid moves with the Gypsies. Dance is just beautiful. So... As I was saying for myself, 
to be having to dress and undress numerous times in one night for performing, I can't even grasp having to walk into a, a dressing room like that and, and have somebody with a male body in there and not in the male space, like with, you know, we keep hearing about being bigots and transphobes if we don't want a, a lady dick in our spaces, but, you know, um, they got their drag shows for that, really, at the end of the day. And I'm personally not against the male belly dancer. There is, if you want to YouTube, there is some really amazing, amazing male belly dancers. But they're not the same. They're not, we don't move the same. We move so differently. And as much as they do move really lovely, it's not, it's not the same. There is definitely differences in the way women move to the way men move. And there's some mind-blowing sort of, um, I do, well, have done in the past, um, ATS, which is American Tribal Style, sort of into fusion type of belly dance. I, I actually started, I, I started, um, in cabaret, well, which is a little bit weird, but the, you know they call traditional belly dancing with the veils and and all that sort of stuff, and more bright colours. And as I progressed in my dance history, dance life, I I'm a gothy girl at heart. I like my stuff like that. So I end up going into Dark Fusion um, or Gothic Fusion belly dance uh, and dancing to a lot of um, industrial and heavy metal and, yeah, music. So, yeah, I, which I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. But costumes, you know, we, we would... We'd be getting changed numerous times a night. And even the above 18 shows that we did, which was a couple of the girls put together over the years, you know, and we all had a t turn at putting different shows together and running different events. And we would, if you do an over 18 event, you know, we would also invite maybe some burlesque dancers or, or, some drag queens to come in and and do something as well, you know, to, you know, but traditionally belly dancing wasn't like that. So that was more like the, the burlesque sort of risque stuff. Myself, I love my sword. I'm more of a sword dancer. Actually, I've got one. Um, yeah, so, and more of the dark fusion stuff, I personally, not really a burlesque girl, I'm not one for taking my bits off, all my bits will stay on, thank you very much. So, though I have performed at other people's events that have had different variety of adult only dancers there so burlesque and quite a few drag queens and not once in those times that I dance with those those drag queens were they getting dressed in the women's spaces now under self ID 
they will be able to do that. They, they will be able to actually come in and get dressed in the female women's spaces. Like this is just absolutely ludicrous. Ludicrous. Concert, like in a gig sort of a thing, was I, I had eight costume changes in one night. So that was either solos or it was group events or duos or some and then literally eight costume changes because at that time I was dancing with two two different groups. I was dancing with a traditional cabaret style belly dance group as well as dancing with a tribal fusion group. So many costumes. I have so many costumes. I've scaled down a lot just recently because I don't think I'll be performing like that like I used to because um, you know before COVID was pretty crazy. Um, after COVID, during COVID, after COVID, not so crazy. Maybe, just maybe, I might put a little video together because I've got a little idea for something, a little little tribute, but I've got to see if the collab is going to be acceptable. But um, I'll just keep that out there for now. Just see, see if that, what happens, if that works out, because that'd be funny. But um, yeah. Anyway, oh, before I go, I'm showing you my belly dancing sword because I love my belly dancing sword so much. My sword, my sword, which I haven't played with for a little while. But anyway, I'm going to love you for now. Talk to you later. Stay now.